It's a welcome return for Danny Dumps. Out of the two letters that we've uh, we've got, we've chosen to do this one because we think this one is the uh, is the one that's probably the safest to do because she she doesn't listen and she she listens to TDs on the way to work. So the good chance she's probably not going to hear us doing this because she, she doesn't listen to our show at all. So. But also she deserves it. She does deserve From it. From what think, he says in his letter. Yeah. And I think because if you, if you listen to the letter, I think she'd probably clock herself and not answer the phone, which scares me a little bit. Yeah, but. She doesn't. Well, yeah, you know, I've, I've spoken. I've spoken to the the man in general, and she she just doesn't listen. At okay. All. This is the letter that we got uh, on Wednesday. Dear Danny, please help me with my predicament. I've just been saved from making the biggest mistake of my life. On Christmas Day, I was going to ask Angie, my girlfriend of four years, to marry me. I've already spent two grand on the engagement ring. I had everything planned: a romantic Christmas Day walk to the little stream near my house where we used to sit and talk for hours when we first met. I was going to get down on one knee and ask her to make me the happiest man on earth. Everything was perfect. Perfect, till I found out what happened at her work's Christmas party earlier this week. I've had my suspicions about her and her boss for a while. She talks about him a little bit too much in that kind of we're friends way that makes all men jealous. But I just thought I was being stupid. But that was until I got a call from my mate, whose sister works for the same company and was at the same Christmas party. In fact, she was the one who opened the door on the lady's cubicle to find the so-called love of my life, pleasuring her married boss in ways I thought were reserved for me. Outrageous. Apparently it's the talk of the office. Everyone's having a giggle at their expense. However, I don't see the funny side. The engagement ring has gone back, and the money, well, I've booked a holiday to Cancun, which I'm going to invite you to, Danny, if you do me the huge favour of dumping the cheating, cheating bitch live on air I mean, your famous Danny Dump style. Now, here's a number, and uh, she doesn't see you guys at all, because she has CDs on when she goes to work. Cheers. This is from Craig in Otley. Um, P.S. Please, can you let me know when you're going to do it, and if you're going to do it, because I want all my mates to be listening, so Danny spoke to him yesterday. All, the, all everyone, I think, should be listening. You know yeah. who you are. I'm going to go to our computer system with me. Uh, I've already put the number in, so if I... I've had an idea how to make it just a little bit extra cruel as well. If I can okay, get right, let me... If I hit <laughs> dial... You're a bad man, Danny. I could never do this. In, in front of fried live guests as well. I'm not bothered. Just, hang on. Uh, Thanks for ringing, hang on. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, can I speak to um, Craig, please? I'm afraid he's not here. He's at work all the time. Um, we'll be back about six. Uh, is he, has he got his mobile on him at all? I can't need to speak to him. Oh, no, he left his mobile at home this morning. Is it important? Um, well, yeah, it, it kind of is, actually. Um, uh, my name's Danny. I'm calling from, uh, from Goldsmiths. Um, and I really, I really need confirmation on the size of, um, a ring that he's due to pick up, um, from us tomorrow. A ring? Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's got, he's got a ring to pick up tomorrow uh, in time for Christmas, and, but he was going to let us know the final size today, and I really need to know it. What? What sort of ring? Uh, um... Like, what, what's it like? Well, he's, uh, I, are you, are you his girlfriend? Yeah, I am. Um, oh, right, um, well... <clears throat> what sort of, is an engagement ring? <laughs> um, oh, God, I really caught me out. Um, yeah, actually, it's... Oh, I sh what? You, you've got to promise not to say anything. How much is it worth? Prom <laughs> listen, you've got to promise not to say anything. Yeah, yeah, I promise. Oh, oh, you, seriously, will you promise, will you absolutely oh, promise me? Um, it is an engagement ring, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god! Uh, um, What's yeah. What's it like? Well, I've got, okay, I've told you this, um, it's, um, it's a platinum one. Uh, it's platinum and it's a, uh, one carat diamond solitaire. It's, um, oh, it's worth about two thousand oh. pounds. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> Oh my god, you, oh, well, oh my, oh my. when, you've got to do me a really big favour, you, you've got to promise me that you won't actually say anything, please. Oh, I promise, I won't say a word. Do you know when he's going to propose? Um, I, 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 well, I think it was, I, oh, <laughs> can't believe I'm spilling old beans here. This no, is, it's fine. I, I, I think it was, I think it was Christmas Day, he was saying, that's why he needs to pick it up tomorrow. But he never, he never let us know the size. Do you uh, want to see my ring size? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, obviously your third finger ring size. Uh, do you know what it is at all? It's M, I think, yeah, M. M. I can't believe I've ruined the surprise. 
Oh, do you know what? It's fine. I'm the happiest person. I'm so happy. Oh, God. So, so is it? Uh, well, I take it it's a it's a good relationship then. Oh, yeah, I'm so in love. We've been together for four years. Four years. Yeah. Well, when you're expecting, we're like expecting him to uh, to ask you to marry him then. Not really. I've always hoped, but it's been quite hard to tie down. Right. Oh God. So, so you. I expect it'd be like a really quick wedding then. Do you think you'd get married like in the summer or like the year after or something? Oh no, I uh, the summer. I can't wait to get married and have babies. Oh, oh you want babies as well? Oh, oh that's so sweet. You just, you've got to promise me that you won't say anything though, will you? And when he asks you, you've got to be all surprised and, and cry and everything like you would. Oh, well, oh, I can't wait. It's a bit of a shame really, actually, Angie, because the truth is, this is a kind of bullseye style. This is what you could have won. What? Yeah, unfortunately, you made the mistake of giving your boss a bit of special mouth love in the toilets at your Christmas party on Monday, didn't you? And the thing is, Craig knows all about it, and so do I. My name's Danny, but I'm not from Goldsmiths, I'm from Galaxy, by the way. Oh, and so does the whole of Yorkshire. They know everything about this, because this is actually live on the radio. Yes? Hello? You still there? Yes, uh, yeah, just, uh, just let me finish. Uh, I've got a bit of a message, which is, you're dumped. The engagement ring, which he did buy, which was a one carat diamond and platinum solitaire, has gone back and the money's gone on a trip to Mexico. Uh, Craig wants you to know, I hope you and your married boss will be very, very happy together, um, because Craig wants you out by Christmas Eve. Is that right, love? Yeah, thought as much. You're dumped. You're on Danny Dumps. You're on Galaxy. Everyone knows you're a dirty little tart. Bye. Yeah.